Hello everybody. Welcome back to Fun Art by Linda. Today we are doing the usual practice and uh, experiment uh, with pillow paints, cell activators, and color combos. Um, I just want to show you something that I was having really, really good luck with. This is, um, this is the French side, sorry, but this is CIL. It's a uh, platinum, I think we read it in English, brilliant tinted exterior, pure brilliant white. I had this paint in my basement probably for about five years and I'm not sure where I got it, but I looked online and Walmart sells it. Uh, I bought some at our local Walmart here in town and it was just terrible. It was like frozen and it was just disgusting in the bottom. So yesterday, look what I found. This was in Saskatoon. It's pure brilliant white, semi-gloss, CIL, premium quality interior latex paint. It's like, what? So I ditched the Glidden for now. <laughs> I was using Glidden Premium for my pillow and it was really thin so two cans of, of that now have been really thin so I've gone to all kinds of pillow paints and I have a video that I tested some on and you know some were okay some were not okay so this one I am going to try today with the CIL Platinum Brilliant White. I love my coffee creamer containers. I like to use them again. Maybe that looks a little, little runny, but we'll see. Uh, the coffee creamer containers, uh, I, they can be recycled, obviously. But... Um, I use them for my paints and I have a lot. <laughs> I have enough white paint in my basement that I could paint the whole house two times over probably. But some of them aren't very expensive. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to be using it. I'm still working on the renovations. Um, three years going. <laughs> so here we are with the pillow. And it doesn't look to be bubbly, but I see a couple. And sometimes you can pop them, and sometimes you can do that. And it gets rid of them right away. This might be a little runny, so I might have to let it sit out. But this is just a test, and then maybe we'll give this one a shot and we'll see the difference. So I had some wonderful success with the bloom in these colors. Um, this is golden phalo turquoise. And deco art sea mist. If I'm repeating, you can fast forward it to the end to see the result. I use uh, Fair 8300. Uh, mixed with polycrylic, 3 to 1, for my pouring medium. This is a custom darkened phthalo green. It's gorgeous. I like it a lot. Then we've got Amsterdam Dioxazine Purple. And I am going to try the... PBO again. The PBO cell activator with the uh, Payne's Gray cell activator. That's what gave me success on that last one, and it was just phenomenal. I've gotten so many comments on it. So happy with that one. So here we go. Not going to put any more color. Where am I? Maybe one more because I don't want all my cells to be that purple so i've got amsterdam aqua green and it's just about done so that's why i want to use it i 
This usually is the color that shows up with the white cell activator. So it makes it look like that's the cell activator. Okay, here we go with cell activator. Both mixed with Australian Floetrol, three to one. This is PBO, acrylic, titanium white. And I'm generous with it. And Payne's Gray, Amsterdam. Just going to pop a bubble or two here. You know how hard it is to repeat. This is a test. See if we can with this new pillow. Not really new, but successful pillow. Okay, goes in the middle, over top of the white. And I can see it sinking. Nicely. You can see the halo around the white. That means it's going to be successful as cell activator that'll give us cells. If you don't have that halo, then you're going to have to go and remix your, your formula and see if you can get it right. So my head now is going to get in the way. I apologize ahead of time. something blow over there when I was blowing and it's reacting reacting pretty good this is the hard part of waiting I wish it was like instant but it's coming and you can see that some of the cells inside the white there are with that aqua green which is nice just tilting it back over so it doesn't run all off Let's see if we can get any more coming yeah there's one in that middle area coming Sometimes you get a little winded blowing. I haven't had good success with the little mini blow dryer. So I've not done too many with those. <clears throat> Come on. Just about ready. Come on. Let's go. Definitely hope everybody uh, takes some tips that I go through, the struggles and the losses and the wins on what to do and what not to do. It sure helps watching other people doing videos because I know I've watched a lot of artists. A lot of my favorites. And this is how we learn from other people's failures or successes. Because you see something and you're, oh, I gotta try that. And then you try it and you look at it. Damn, not very good. <laughs> but if you don't try, you don't know if you're gonna win or not. Let's see a bubble here. Or a white spot anyway. Hey, I think we're going to spin slowly. I removed the plastic from inside my box too because it was just annoying. So if it wants to splatter along the sides, it sure can. This looks good so far. 
made my paint container. I scoop up all my leftovers and I strain them. And I have started using some of it for pillow paint and it, it's successful. So don't mind me when I get my fingers in here. And you can have a little quick look at it while I do that. It does get messy. Key is to have all your paint colors the same consistency because if you have one really thick it won't move and then it stops everything else from moving. I have learned that. This looks pretty good. I like that uh, sea mist. It just adds some drama and some pearl shine to it. Okay, just about there to stop it. Oh yeah, that looks good. I see a corner here that's not covered. All the other ones are covered. That's strange. I've got some spinning to do still. So bear with me, we're almost there. This looks good. I like the color combo. I'm going to go the other way. Yep. Pretty cool. It's a relief to know that you can do similar ones to the one you had su su such success with. <laughs> it's relief. Because you look at some of them that you've done and you're like, how did I do that? I write down all the, the combos that I have tested. So that helps. And the layering. Layering is key to know which one went first. Now, I wonder what kind of movement we got. Still got a little bit. I don't see bubbles though. That's a good thing with this paint. And I'm pretty sure it's going to dry really nicely because the other ones I did that uh, dried really good. There, it's opened up a little bit more. Not as vibrant as that first one I did. But hey, a win's a win, right? Ooh, I see one bubble. Not bad. Considering I stirred it. Still a little bit. I think we'll give it one more and say it's done. It looks like it's spinning so much, but it's not, guys. <laughs> it isn't. All right, so where are we at now? I think that's a win. You think so? I think so, too. I think it looks pretty darn good. Now to do four more. Well, three more, so you have four. Anyhow, that is the old pillow paint. Uh, sorry, the new pillow paint. And it is a win. Um, there you go, guys. Go to Walmart, get some paint. It's cheap. <laughs> I have more than enough. I can give everyone some. 
thank you all for stopping by and checking out my channel um, if you're new and you're just seeing this video please hit the subscribe button so you can be uh, on my channel all the time seeing what I do new um, hit the subscription button is what I mean and notification bell for any new videos that I post you'll be notified share this with your friends um, come get addicted next time <laughs> to painting and uh, thanks for stopping by everyone thank you have a good day